Hey guys, welcome to 2017. This is Tony Solo from The Natural Lifestyles coming at you in a different year with something new. I hope you guys miss me because I'm excited about everything that I'm gonna be putting out this year because it's totally everything that I've been wanting to put out but I've been stalling on so here comes the masculinity, here comes the infield, here comes the nice guy videos. Thank you for tuning in. Now, today I have a very special topic for you and it's something that means dear, dear, dear to my heart and that is developing masculine presence. All right guys, this is what happens when you see a girl that's grooving on the street. Look at that, she's loving it. I'm finna go make her day. <laughs> You're just grooving on the street? That's Sorry, yeah? Yes, you're in a really good mood. Yeah. Yes, I like that. Yeah, uh, I love this music. Um, this me, is uh, Hungarian hip hop, yeah. Yeah? My, yeah? Um, <laughs> sorry. That's fine, I'll put it in. I'll put it in, okay? Right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I don't know that. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, oh, that's that's really cool. You know, yeah. you know what I like about you already. Yeah. Is that you can walk down the street and be in your own world, and really be feeling yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that reminds me of me. <sighs> and uh, where are you going now? Um, uh, I will go um, um, m m meet my friend. Uh huh. Yeah. And yes. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. Uh, where are you walking to? Like, is it that way? That way. Oh, you're going that way. Yeah. Okay, because it's, it's quite cold, and I would like to get to know you because you're a lovely woman. So uh, nice I, will, I, will, I will walk and talk with you for a little bit. Okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. Because you're... you're n oh, now. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yes. We, we walk and talk, and then I say bye. Uh, okay. Okay, because sorry. Um, um, uh, I I just a little bit speak English, English. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just a little bit speak in English. Yeah, thank you. My English is very good. Yeah. So I help you. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you wear Air Force Ones. Your shoes, Air yeah. Force Ones. Yeah. Are you a dancer? Ah. Are you a dancer? <laughs> uh, no, I'm a singer, but uh, I was. In my child. Oh, okay. When I was, yeah, a little girl. And why did you stop dancing? Um, I had uh, an accident, car accident. Uh -huh. Yeah. And um, uh, um, the doctor um, told. Uh, told me. Yeah. The doctor told you. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that I stopped. This. Stop dancing. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, but uh, uh, I I uh, can't stop. Oh wait. <laughs> Don't want any more cars to hit you. No more <laughs> no, cars. No, no, no. Yes. Okay, now we go. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. My name yeah. is Anthony. Hi, I'm Vera. Vera. Yeah. Okay. Lovely to meet you. Yeah. Vera. Um, what do you like about singing? Who? Uh, yeah. So. But it's okay. You're on stage. Yeah. You're in front of the people. Yeah. And you are singing. Yeah. And they. What they can feel, they yeah, can feel what yeah, you have yeah. to sing. And uh, this is a, 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 a miracle connection. It's oh, a miracle connection. Yeah. Yes. So okay. you feel? Do you feel like it's magical when you're on yeah. stage? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Hey. <laughs> it's like um, it's like that's how I feel when I dance. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. um, when I dance, it is a Are very... You yes. <clears throat> I love dancing. That's one thing I love to do. Yeah, so, uh, when I'm on stage or when I'm doing a dance video, 
I feel like uh, when the person, when I'm dancing in front of someone yeah. or in a video, yeah. that they can, <clears throat> they can feel how I feel. Yeah. 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 And which, which, uh, not topic, um, oh my God. Which um, kind of dance? Yes, 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 yes. I do all styles, so like hip hop and yeah. Latin and swing. Yeah, oh, yes. No? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have very magical eyes as well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You are a person that's very, very in touch yeah, with yourself. I mean, like you have, you know yourself well. <clears throat> would Thank you, you would you say much. so? Do you think so? You know yourself well? Uh, yeah. Uh, for myself? Yeah, like, do you know yourself? I feel it, but but sometimes I I am I am I am uh, um, uh, war worry with my, war with myself war. Mm. Oh, okay, conflict. Yeah, conflict. Yes, yeah, so you have conflict yeah. with yeah. yourself sometimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's okay. I'm I'm uh, I'm. Uh, I'm a people uh, in the world, and yeah. and I'm not not an, an archangel or angel. So I think it's it's okay. Yeah. It's okay for you. It's naturally. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you're a very happy woman. It's so good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can um, feel it, and of course I can see it when you're walking down the street like this. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. I can see it as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, you know what? You are a very wonderful woman. Thank you very and much. And I would like to take you for a coffee. Mm. Uh, uh, but but now because it's a very short time. Um, 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 uh, I I I I I uh, yeah. Uh, <coughs> I, I, um, oh my God. Uh, 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 uh. You know me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, okay, uh, my hands are cold. Okay, uh, what are you gonna say? Uh, 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 you have uh, not uh, internet, but uh, uh, in in um, many places. Uh, it's internet. Yeah. Do you feel comfortable giving me your number? Uh, uh, no, uh, my Facebook profile. You, you feel bef better with yeah. your Facebook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have no internet, so how do I contact you? <laughs> uh, uh, I, um, just on Facebook or email. Uh, no number? No. You can... Uh, I, um, because, um... We 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 met. Um, is uh, is about it strange to you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. you don't yeah. you don't meet people like this. Uh, I trust you. Ah uh, yes. I trust you, but 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 it's a short. Um, yes. Yeah. Um. Well, I know it's very short, and we only met. We only talked to each other. Yeah. For like. Uh, <laughs> it's cut harum. Minutes. Yeah. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, so it's uh, very, very strange to s give your number to me. Yeah. But uh, you give your number to me, and what I can do is text you. Yeah. And you can um, find me on. I will text you my name, and you find me on Facebook. And no more texting, just Facebook. That sounds better to me because I would like to get to know you, and I know this is very strange, but you seem so wonderful to me. Is it plus three six? Uh, but oh. Do you remember? Uh, yeah, I I I know my my my. Oh my God. You know your number, yes. Yeah, I know my my number because. Um. Don't, I, I, don't, I prefer, don't worry. I, 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 I know you prefer Facebook. Yeah. Yes, but I will text you so you can sit, so you can add me on Facebook and no more texting. 
Yeah. All right. So it's just like it's just a way to contact you. All right. You're a lovely girl. Don't mess up this opportunity. <laughs> I know this is strange to you, but don't don't just say no because it's like, oh, this is strange. I don't want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Like this is me saying that I want to get to know you, and this is the best way. Yeah. Um, seven zero. Uh huh. Uh, six to eight. Come here. You're lovely. All right. I see you, okay? You guys may go, well, you've talked about this before. And I go, yeah, I've talked about this before. But the good thing about this is that it never runs out of content. It never runs out of content because I keep learning things about developing this beautiful thing called masculine presence. And many times people are wondering, okay, how can I be a man that is masculine and move like, like, like a masculine man? How can I be a man that has a masculine look? How can I be somebody who just develops masculine presence when he walks in a room, he's able to feel the room with his aura? How can I do something where I can walk past a woman, I can look her in the eyes, and she can feel the stillness from me? And many of the times, masculine presence literally comes from doing things with clear intention. This is one of the strongest ways for you to develop masculine presence because once you start doing things with clear intention, you allow yourself to align with truth. And as I say so many times, truth is in this moment now. And as you become a man who's completely aligned with truth and you're doing things from a place of clarity, you're saying this with clarity, you're moving with clarity, you're acting with clarity, that allows you to have more of a strong masculine presence. Doing things that are purposeful for you. Doing things that allow you to know that I'm in alignment with exactly what I want to do right now in this moment. And I don't need to do anything else because if I try to do something else, that's not aligned with me. So developing masculine presence is really about doing things with clear intention. And as you get used to doing that, it becomes easier and easier. I remember starting out <clears throat> and trying to do things with intent and getting frustrated that I just couldn't do it right the first time. I'm like, why can't I just say this to this woman with intent? Why can't I just walk up to this woman and say, hey, let's go over here with intent. Why can't I just do that with clarity of intent? How come I can't do that? Why am I struggling so much? And the reason why I was struggling so much is just only because of all the past conditioning popping in the way of me trying to move toward what it is that I want to say or do. <clears throat> so when you're first starting out with this, you have to understand that you will be moving past things inside of you that wants to keep you safe from not being clear. Because clarity is actually very scary. Clarity of intention is really scary because you totally align with the truth of who you are in this moment. And that truth will not ring good for everybody. And people tend to get very uncomfortable by this because <clears throat> intention in itself, clarity of intention in itself, has a certain energy behind it. It has a certain cutting energy behind it. And as you start to say things with clarity and move with clarity and do things with clarity, you start to cut through your own bullshit in the moment. And as you start to cut through your own bullshit ways in the moment, your own past conditionings in the moment, you allow yourself to kill your ego consistently. And that doesn't feel good. So many people, they actually learn clarity of intention and they become really, really, so to speak, masculine in their, in their presence as far as like developing a masculine presence. But they only go to a certain extent and they stop because this doesn't end, it doesn't. There is a lifetime, many times, there is a lifetime of things that you have to move through inside of you to really be a person that's completely clear, just clear all the time. And I, don't, I haven't seen a person like that and I haven't been around um, any masters, so, so to speak, who have been like that. So it's a constant ongoing thing with you just learning to be clear in your intent. But as you do that over and over and everything you say and do, you just start to develop this presence about you that just knows what he wants. 
And women, of course, they're like, I want a man who knows what he wants. And that's what they're just a a attached to. They're drawn to that because that lures them in because that is a very, very masculine to them. So that is one way for you to develop masculine presence. Another way for you to develop masculine presence, of course, is always settling into yourself as much as you can. Be a person that's consistently settling into yourself. And what do I mean by settling into yourself? I mean, as you're walking around through the day, as you're looking at others, as you're interacting with women, allow yourself to settle into your feet. Settle into your body. Completely become present to what's happening inside of you as you're in front of people, as you're in front of women. And as you do that, you will notice a difference in the way that you're coming across. Many people actually don't come across strong and masculine um, be only because they have not settled on the inside, really. So some people can actually start to learn how to be clear, but also you can feel that it's not coming from a strong place. That's because they haven't settled into themselves and start becoming clear. See how these things are very, very uh, synchronous. They're very, uh, I don't want to say the word, but oh, they go in synchronicity. They do. These two, these two different, these two things of settling to yourself and being clear in your intent, they both are together because once you settle into yourself, you're able to be more clear. But once you are too clear and you don't settle into yourself, this doesn't have that much power to it. So these things all go together and they all are at depth. <clears throat> so as a man, as you move at depth within yourself, you start to notice that all these things go together. Truth and, and clarity and, 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 and stillness and being able to have truth. All these things start to go together and you notice that they all live at depth within yourself. And anything at surface level, it'll never have the effect that you want because the elements of it will be very, very weak. But once you start to come from a stronger element, which is groundedness, settling into yourself, being able to be one with the moment, being able to allow your breath to be the agent for that, as I've talked to you so many times about, being able to be in your body, relax, be aware of your feet, be aware of your hands, of your ass, of your pelvic floor. And as you start to just settle into this moment, you notice that everything that you say and everything that you do is coming from a very purposeful place. You notice that as you settle within yourself, everything becomes much, much clearer. Everything becomes much more enjoyable you actually start to experience yourself in a very different way. You experience others in a very different way. You're able to feel into people. You're able to know, okay, this person is feeling like this. This woman is feeling like this. So I know I need to step back right now. I know that right now if I go for the kiss, she will not be turned on by this because I can feel that she's not in that place yet. So you know what? I'm just gonna give it a little time. Ah, now I feel like she's ready. I can feel into that. Now I can move into her. But being able to do that, the skill of doing that, must first happen with settling into yourself, which is being present to your body. That's settling into yourself. And being present to your body is a very, very tough thing. It is. You know, meditation is one of the easiest ways for you to be able to settle into your body because it allows you to be present to what's happening now. And you're not judging. And you're just here and yes, and I am. This is the beauty about being able to be a man that's incredibly settled within itself. When you're developing masculine presence, I just want you to understand that there's so many ways to do it, but I would, if I would say the thing that's going to be able to get you there the quickest is settling into yourself because everything stems from that place. Because guys, they're really caught up on how do I remain present to a woman? How do I, when I'm in front of a woman, be in front of her and allow myself to just be here and now? They want that so much, but they're not willing to walk around life all day and be present to life. They're willing to only be present to this feminine here, but not be present to the big feminine out here. 
Every guy wants to be present to the small feminine because they feel like the small masculine. But once you just allow yourself to be present to life, then you become one with life, which is the masculine. The masculine is stillness. So that's one with life. But also, that's one with the big feminine as well. Because love pervades everything, so does stillness. And together they make the very beautiful yin yang. So allow yourself to start to move with clarity. <clears throat> when you want to say something and you feel like that little block come up of, maybe I should say it. Keep allowing yourself to cut through it. It's going to take focus. Let's say you want to say to somebody, you want to say to a woman, you look sexy. But you feel like this part of you is like, maybe that's too much. Maybe she'll think I'm a creep. You go, excuse me, I think. And you feel that, that block in you, just say, you look sexy. And just settle into yourself and just relax and say, you look sexy. And what you'll notice is that you'll start to experience yourself in a very, very different way. And as you start to experience yourself in this way of, wow, I just actually didn't die by just saying what I want to say. I didn't die by just being clear with this time. And let's say that you want to take her by the hand. Let's say you're walking with her and you want to grab her by the hand. Allow yourself to just settle into yourself and just put your hand in her hand. Let's say that's what you want to do. But you must first settle into yourself. Let's say... The clarity comes from the settling to yourself. If you just try to do it, it'll be like, like that. It'll be really off. But if you settle into yourself, you allow yourself to go for the hand from a place that's settled, which means a place within yourself that's present to your body. So when you touch her, you'll be present to the touch. This is the beautiful thing about masculine presence is that once you start to do things from a settled place, everything you do is from the place of stillness. Everything you do is literally from the place of being one with now. And that's what she wants. She wants a man who's completely masculine in here, now, settled and within himself. Not all over the place, right? but settled within itself. And it takes time. I'm not telling you to be perfect. Any guy that's watching this video and you're just starting out, do not expect perfection from yourself because you will fuck up. You will. Stop. Don't think to yourself that I want to go out today and I'm only going to be present to everything. No. Yeah, you will have moments of presence and moments that you're not. But the more and more you become present to life, the more and more you become present to what's happening right now in this moment, me talking to you, me feeling into you and wanting to give you this information, the easier it will become for you to be a man that's completely present and developing the masculine presence that you always wanted. This is Tony Solo for Natural Lifestyles and if you guys want to do coaching with me or the TNL team, go to the naturallifestyles.com, go to the contact page and put in an inquiry. I love you guys and I'm so excited about all the shit I'm going to be putting out and guess what? I have a product coming out in May, so be looking forward to that. That'll be showing you everything that I'm teaching you right now, but in a very different way. That's more packaged for you, and you'll find it much more enjoyable because you'll see me take girls home. You'll see the whole shadig. And that is my cue to leave. I'm out.